Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, for September 15th, 2023. Here, we will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life, with the goals of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023, increasing our faith and pleasing the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 7 reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. And the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 16 through 17, above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 35 reads, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 7, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. And the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30. The fruit of the uncompromisingly righteous is a tree of life. And he who is wise captures human lives for God. As a fisher of men, he gathers and receives them for eternity. Just as the Lord's apostles, disciples did in the beginning. Amen. And the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. And the book of Mark eleven twenty three to 24. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have what he says. And then verse 24, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Amen. The book of Luke 11, verse 9 to 10. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. And so the words of life that we shall hear today, September 15th, are Psalm 102, verse 1 through 28, the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 1 through 24, The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1 through 39, and the book of Job, chapter 37, verse 1 through 24. All scriptures, unless otherwise noted, are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible. Copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And there were readings today from the Amplified Classic Version of the Bible. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for all too. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing, your knowledge of the promises of God, and that you are receiving the grace to walk in those promises. Amen. I would ask that you would share Jesus for all too with another, and if you are inclined, that you would subscribe. And now, Psalm 102. A psalm of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his complaint before the Lord. And it reads, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call. Answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. 
My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. Verse 6, I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. Verse 7, I lie awake and, and am like a sparrow alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who deride me swear an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away. Verse 11, my days are like a shadow that lengthens, and I wither away like grass. Verse 12, but you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. Verse 17, he shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. For this will be written for the generation to come that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven the Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together at the kingdoms to serve the Lord. Verse 23. He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my days. I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Verse 25. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak you will change them, and they will be changed. Verse 27. But you are the same and your years will have no end. Verse 28 and last, the children of your servants will continue and their descendants will be established before you. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. And now the book of Isaiah. Continuing today with chapter, 20, chapter 66, and it reads, Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you will build me, and where is the place of my rest? For all things, for all those things my hand has made, and all those things exist, says the Lord. But on this one will I look, on him who is poor and of a contrite spirit, on who tremble and trembles at my word. Verse 3. He who kills a bull is as if he slays a man. He who sacrifices a lamb as if he breaks a dog's neck. He who offers a grain offering as if he offers swine's blood. He who burns incense as if he blesses an idol. Just as they have chosen their own ways and their soul delights in their abominations, Verse 4, so will I choose their delusions and bring their fears on them, because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I do not delight. Verse 5, hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your brethren who hated you, who cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy, but they shall be ashamed. Verse 6, the sound of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, the voice of the Lord who fully repays his enemies. Verse 7, because she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came, she delivered a male child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to give birth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Verse 9, shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says the, your God? 
Verse 10, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all you who mourn for her, that you may feed and be satisfied with the consolation of her bosom, that you may drink deeply and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. Verse 12, for thus says the Lord, behold, I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then you shall feed on her sides then you shall feed. On her side shall you be carried, and be dandled on her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. Verse 14. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants, and his indignation to his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16, For by fire and by his sword the Lord will judge all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Verse 17, Those who sanctify themselves and purify themselves to go to the gardens after an idol in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse, shall be consumed together says the Lord. Verse 18, For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall be that I will gather all the nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and those among them who escape I will send to the nations, to Tarshish and Pol and Lud, to draw the bow and Tubal and Javan, to the coastlands afar off, who have not heard my fame nor seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. Verse 20. Then they shall bring all their brethren for an offering to the Lord out of the nations, on horses and in chariots and in litters, on mules and on camels, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord. As the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. Verse 21. And I will also take some of them for priests and Levites, says the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your descendants and your name remain. Verse 23, And it shall come to pass, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. Verse 24 and last, And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their worm does not die, and their fire is not quenched. They shall be an abhorrence, abhorrence to all flesh. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. And now the New Testament reading, continuing today with the book of Romans. The book of Romans, continuing today with chapter 8. The book of Romans chapter 8, and it reads, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. On account of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Verse 4, that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Verse 5, for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject, subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. 
verse 10. And if Christ is not in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life because of righteousness. Verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if we live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put death, you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Verse 14. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. If you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Verse 17, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Verse 18, for I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Verse 20, for the creation was subjected to fertility, futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Verse 22, For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? Verse 25, but if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Verse 26, likewise the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Verse 29, For whom he foreknew, he also predestined, to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, Moreover, whom he predestined, those he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. Verse 31. What, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Verse 33, who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Verse 36, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, verse 39 and last, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And this word is blessed as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. What a glorious, glorious legacy we have. A living legacy 
in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ for the grace to live in that abundant life that you have purchased for us by your own blood on the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ. And now the book of Job. Today, chapter 37. And it reads, At this also my heart trembles and leaps from its place. Hear attentively the thunder of his voice and the rumbling that comes from his mouth. He sends it forth under the whole heaven, his lightning to the ends of the earth. After it a voice roars, he thunders with his majestic voice, and he does not restrain them when his voice is heard. Verse 5, God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth, likewise to the gentle rain and the heavy rain of his strength. Verse 7, he seals the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. The beasts go into dens and remain in their lairs. From the chamber of the south comes the whirlwind and cold from the scattering winds of the north. But the breath of God, ice, by the breath of God, ice is given, and the broad waters are frozen. Also with moisture he saturates the thick clouds. He scatters his bright clouds, verse 12, and they swirl about, being turned by his guidance that they may do whatever he commands them on the face of the whole earth. Verse 13, he causes it to come, whether for correction or for his land, or for mercy. Verse 14, listen to this, O Job, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Do you know when God dispatches them and causes the light of his cloud to shine? Do you know how the clouds are balanced, those wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge? Why are your garments hot when he quiets the earth by the south wind? With him have you spread out the skies, strong as a cast metal mirror? Teach us what we should say to him, for we can prepare nothing because of the darkness. Verse 20. Should he be told that I wish to speak? If a man were to speak, surely he would be swallowed up. Even now men cannot look at the light when it is bright in the skies. when the wind has passed and cleansed them. He comes from the north as gold splendor. With God is awesome majesty. As for the Almighty, we cannot find him. He is excellent in power, in judgment, and abundant in justice. He does not so oppress. Verse 24. And last. Therefore men fear him. He shows no partiality to any who are wise in heart. Amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. And now, Psalm 34. Today in the Amplified, and it reads... I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought, inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity and on authority of his word. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces shall never blush for shame or be confused. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, who revere and worship him with awe, and each of them he delivers. O oh, taste and see that the Lord our God is good, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied, is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his servants, revere and worship him, for there is no want to those who truly revere and worship him with godly fear. The young lions lack food and suffer hunger, but they who seek, inquire of, and require the Lord by right of their need and on the authority of his word, none of them shall lack any beneficial thing. Come, you children, listen to me. 
I will teach you to revere and worshipfully fear the Lord. Verse 12. What man is he who desires life and longs for many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek, inquire for, and crave peace and pursue. Go after it. Verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are toward the uncompromisingly righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their distress and troubles. The Lord is close to those who are of a broken heart and saves such as are crushed with sorrow for sin and are humbly and thoroughly penitent. Many evils confront the consistently righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall cause the death of the wicked, and they who hate the just and righteous shall be held guilty and shall be condemned. Verse 22 and last. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants, and none of those who take refuge and trust in him shall be condemned or held guilty. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. And let us pray. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Father, we thank you for sending your word, your holy son, Jesus, our Lord and Savior and Redeemer, the Lamb of God, to die for us, suffer for us, to be redeemed for us, that by our stripes, that by his stripes, we are healed. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for your word, your Holy Son, the Lamb of God, our Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we will bless you at all times. Your praise, O Lord, shall continually be in our mouths. Our soul shall boast of you, our Lord. We magnify and exalt your name forever. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that when we call, you hear and deliver us from all our fears. In Jesus' name, we thank you for saving us out of all our troubles. And thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we have seen that you are good and that we are blessed because we trust you and have no lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we fear you, O Lord, and as it is written, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But because we, in the name of Jesus Christ, seek you, our Lord, we thank you, Father, that we shall not lack in Jesus' name any good thing. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name. We have prayed.